Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be learning about the parts of a sewing machine and I use the Juki DDL 8700 starting with the spool pins they are used to hold your thread and guide them through the thread guides which are these tiny little holes right here so this machine has two spool pins one is for winding your bobbin so this is the bobbin winder and it controls the bobbin while you're winding your thread a quick tip for fashion design students if you're still in school if you're still doing fashion design this question never it never lacks in your exam and i just want you to pay attention because i'm going to use the simplest language ever to talk you through the basic parts of a machine the ones that i know for sure you will always get them in your exam This is the presser foot lifter or lever and it is used to raise or lower the presser foot. That's the presser foot, the one you see going up and down. So that one you can use with your leg while you're sitting down, while you're stitching. That's why I really love this machine. This is the balance wheel or the hand wheel and it is used to manually raise and lower the needle. And you do it by hand. This is the stitch regulator. It is used to control the length and width of the stitches on the fabric and it also determines how wide or narrow your stitches will be. Right here we have the reverse lever. It is used to move backwards and in reverse while making a back stitch. One beautiful thing about the Juki DDL 8700 is that it comes with this table which has um, tape measure basically so it's really nice and easy to use and I would highly highly recommend this so coming to this other side we have these are thread guides basically they just they are there to guide your thread properly and then you'll go to the tension disc which controls the looseness or tightness of your stitches that is also another thread guide this is the take up lever and it moves up and down with the needle and it keeps the tension correct. So when you're threading your machine that will always be moving up and down while you're stitching. We also have another thread guide and another thread guide where the needle is. Here we have the needle bar. Its function is to give motion to the needle. And then we have the needle clamp, which is used to hold and tighten the needle in position. As you can see, there's a screw. And then we have the needle itself right there. This is the presser foot. It holds the fabric in place while sewing. Like that. Right underneath, we have the feed dogs which are little pieces of textured metal that are used to move the fabric during sewing. This is called a slide plate. It is a movable rectangle plate that just houses the bobbin case. And this is the throat plate, which is uh, used to cover the feed dogs and bobbin casing. And it also guides fabric through a specific seam allowance. As you can see, we have half I don't know if you can see but yeah I was trying to open the slide plate to show you underneath we have a bobbin right there and a bobbin case and that's where it sits so the place where the bobbin case sits is called the bobbin cover and it covers the bobbin and bobbin case in the machine just to protect it as you can see This is the other presser foot lifter, which you can lift by hand. Remember the one you can lift with your leg. So for this one, you can lift with your hand and it has the same function. This is the power box. So there's on and off. And then we have our motor. It's a clutch motor. It's a really powerful motor, by the way. This machine sews 5,500 stitches per minute. So yeah, this is a very good machine. And this is the foot pedal. This is where your feet are stationed while you're stitching. It is used to regulate the starting and stopping of the machine. 